Hey, everybody. Two boys. One brain cell. I'm Joel. I'm Chuck. Today, we're checking out some Sage Francis. Slow down Slow Gandhi. Down Gandhi, baby. Yes. And uh, we really enjoyed that last Sage Francis song we checked out. So we're on to the next one. I have a really healthy distrust for you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's the album name, guys. Yeah. yeah I, I legitimately read it before we started, and I was like, let's see if he brings this one up. You knew I was. So I was just waiting for it. You knew it was. Didn't happen. even have to look. Didn't even have to look. Chuckles. Nope. <laughs> Let's jump on him. Let's do it. There once was a song called "Arrest the President." Contemporary music, a hit with the kids. It was a top ten. I wasn't pop then, so I missed the bus a bit. But politics, it was on everybody's hot this summer list. And the cool kids were all rocking votes. I shit you not, I was pistol whipping cops for hip hop. Ooh, yeah. On my soapbox, yelling into megaphones. Killing hard rocks, using carcasses as stepping stones. Had a promise that I'd stop holding my marches. The day that Chris Columbus got crucified in golden arches. My pedestal was too tall to climb off. In fact, that's the reason for the high horse. And from up here, I see Marines and Hummers on a conquest. Underdogs with wonder bras and a push-up contest. All for the sake of military recruitment It fell at Kent State the way they targeted the students I galloped off, whistling Ohio The rest of them stuck doing stand-up at a cricket convention Who would they die for? Who would they die for? Who would they die for? Is it the same machine that leaves the quality of life for? An abominable colony of cyborgs Clocking up the property that I want with eyesores Now it's whistleblower versus the pistol holder. Case dismissed. They'll lock you up and throw away the key witness. Justice is the whim of a judge. Check his chest density. It leaves much room for error. And the rest left to destiny. The West Memphis Three lost paradise. It's death penalty versus suicidal tendencies. All I wanted was a fucking Pepsi. Institution. Making you think you're crazy is a billion dollar industry. If they could sell sanity in a bottle. They'd be charging for compressed air. They're marketing health care. Demonized welfare. Middle class eliminated. Rich get richer till the poor get educated, educated But some of y'all still haven't grown into your face And your face doesn't quite match your head And I'm waiting for a brain to fill the dead space that's left You're all give me ethnicity or give me dread Trust a funny and rebel without a cause for alarm Cause when push turns to shove you jump into your forefather's arms He's a banker, you're part of the system Off go the dreadlocks, in comes the income The briefcase, the, briefcase. the sickness, the symptoms When the cameras start rolling, say the fuck out of the picture, pilgrim the briefcase. Exactly how I'm <laughs> feeling about this song. <laughs> All right. Slow down, Gandhi. You killing him. That is great. Oh, man. That line leading up to... Uh, Oh, yeah, she smells like dirty cash and aged paper books. What would she die for? Slow down, Gandhi. You're killing him. <laughs> After he was going on about the, uh, from my understanding, was. I love that line. That date that Chris Columbus got crucified on golden arches. That's what, that's what I was looking at right here. And up from here, I see the Marines and Hummers on a conquest. Underdogs with wonder bras and push-up contests. Like, like the commercials they used to play? Yeah. Yeah. Join the Marines. Yeah. All for the sake of military <laughs> recruitment. <laughs> we have some ladies in Wonder Bros. Yeah. Doing pull ups. Yeah. Sure you do. <laughs> <laughs> However, they can get them in there, bud. Yeah. One way or another. So it was funny, though. Do you get the Gandhi? Slow down, Gandhi, you're killing him. So I, I'm pretty sure, like, he's going so hard with the, like, the way I'm taking it, at least. He's going so hard on these people that he's killing them. Gandhi wouldn't do that. Slow down, God. You're killing him. Yeah. I, <laughs> you're that, smacking him around. Was, with, that's I what was I was throwing around. I'm like, Gandhi, I thought he was for peace. Yeah. That, that's, <laughs> I think, the point. So it's like, hey, Good. slow down, God. You're killing him. Whoa, 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 whoa. Like hitting him with these all these facts. Like, whoa. You know? Yeah. So it's Slow like down. like a kind of a double. Uh, double-edged sword. Double-edged, yeah. I knew mm. you were going with that. <laughs> Do a double-edged sword. 
double entendre. There's a few double things here. Well, right off the rip, because he says, slow down, Gandhi. You're killing them. Gandhi wouldn't. Gandhi wouldn't do that. At least my knowledge. I should not have done a whole lot of research on Gandhi, so I have no clue. But regardless, I think here that's what he's getting at. Yeah. Yeah. I'm digging it so far. Yeah, me too. The beat is not as hard as I want it to be, though. No, but we got a nice hip hop song. No, a hundred percent decent beat and a good listen, meeting. Listen, absolutely, and and he's almost just with his flow making drops happen. Yeah, which is like what? That's where I was going with that. I'm like, I want it to be a little heavier beat wise, but then again, he's doing it with his flow, and I kind of impressed by that. Yeah, you're like, I'm here just for a little it. bit. But, okay, <laughs> <laughs> just a wee little bit. All right, let's uh, jump back in. Let's do it. To save the world, spare us the details. Save the females from losing interest. And to save the universe, you're a damsel in distress. Tied down to a track of isolated incidents. Generalize my disease, I need a taste of what it's like. Living off the fat of kings, I play the scab at your hunger strike. Hunger strike. Hunger strike. Hunger strike. Slow down, Gandhi, you're killing them. One love, one life, one too many victims. Republicrat, Democrat, one party system. Media goes in a frenzy. They're stripped of their credentials. Presidential candidates can't debate over this instrumental. Let them freestyle. Winner takes all. When the music's dead, I'll have Ted Nugent's head hanging on my wall. Kill one of ours, we'll kill one of yours. With some friendly fire. That's a funny term. Like civil war. Six in the morning, police at my crib. Now my nights consist of two toothpicks and eyelids. The crucifix and vitamins. Music that is pirated new flavored food made of mutated hybrids uh, they tell me that it's not that bad it fucks you up good but it's not that bad they hold on to these tails till it's the dog that wags god save us all if he lets the cat out the bag now who's the one to blame for the strain of my vocal cords who can pen a hateful threat but can't hold a sword it's the same who complain about the global war but can't overthrow the local joker that they voted for they call the shots but they're not in the line of fire i call the cops but they break in the line of duty Let's call a stop to the abuse of authority The truth keeps calling me And I'ma live to tell the story So look for truth, quit seeking forgiveness You need to cut the noose, but you don't believe in scissors You support the troops, but wearing yellow ribbons Just bring home my motherfucking brothers and sisters Cause they don't call the shot But they're in the line of fire I'd like to call the cops But they break in the line of duty It's time to call a stop to the abuse of authority The truth keeps calling me And I'ma live to tell the story Metal superstar, that is what you are. Coming from a farm, reaching with your arm. Come away with me to another ranch. We can rely on. That is the most random outro I've ever, <laughs> ever heard. Ever. Yeah, it is. Hilarious, though. Yeah, it is. Um, So, there... Okay. All right. There's a lot to break down in this, dude. There is so much. In Bro this just kept piling on. It was like... It was like... I, I don't even know how to put it. Mm, it's good. It's good. I'm looking for the first call out here. First line, go on. First line. Arrest the president. A song called Arrest the That president. motherfucker is Russian intelligence. Ice Cube. <laughs> 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 That's the first thing to do that. Rat the rip when he said arrest the president. I was like, <laughs> that motherfucker is Russian intelligence. Ice Cube. <laughs> Let's go. All right. Contemporary music, a hit with the kids. Mm, no, no, no. Top 10. There were some name shout outs here. And I was like, Oh shit, this is epic. I swore there was more than one. I know there was the Ted Nugent drop there. Uh-huh. Which was hilarious because he's an extremist to the core. Um hmm. I think Oh, I- institutionalized, that's what it was. Okay. He said suicidal tendencies. All I wanted was a Pepsi. Institutionalized. The the song institutionalized. By Suicide Tendencies. You know that song? Do I know that song? All I wanted was all I wanted was a Pepsi and they wouldn't give it to me. Just one Pepsi. What? 
God damn it, Chuck. I was so pumped when I heard that line. It wasn't a call out. It was just a name drop. And I was like, okay, that was dope. That was sick. And then I love that he just picked apart people's like, you support the troops by wearing yellow ribbons. Just bring home my motherfucking brothers and sisters. They, cause they don't call the shots. It's like people that hate on the troops. It's like, they're not the problem. And then it also goes after the people that are like super support of the troops. Well, support them, but you don't really support them coming home. You support people, putting people into power that are keeping them over there. Yeah. For corporate interest at yeah. that. So you don't really give a shit about the troops. Yeah. Cause if you did, you'd want the wars to be over and them to come home. Yep. Um, but they're in the line of fire. I'd like to call the cops, but they're breaking the, the line of duty. It's time to call a stop to the abuse authority. And uh-huh. the abuse of authority is, a, it's a problem. <laughs> yes, sir. Such a problem. It's like we put in these, pro, like, I don't really have an answer for what we could do better. No, me neither. But we do seem to have this awesome thing of, like, putting power in the hands of people that are, like, easily in people in general, they're just highly like a corrupt rate is like through the roof. Like we're oh, like yeah. free power to do whatever, you know? Oh my gosh. Now, now that comes down to the, the simple one. Like if you put me or you in a position like that, can we guarantee there wouldn't be corruption? Well, here's the way I look at it. Okay. That I don't know. Are you saying you'd be a corrupt cop? I don't think so. I like to think my morals are higher than that, but I'm not in that position. So I don't really know. I think I'd be good. I, I I think I'd be good, but I don't really know. The people I feel like are a problem are like, okay, you know when they're like friends with somebody and they're like equal work with you and then they become a manager and they're just a straight dick to you and they pretend they don't even know oh, you? I hate those people. That's the kind of people that are an issue. I hate those people <laughs> so much. Yes, and that's the issue. And then they get a job like that. I hate those people so much. Dude, I know. I know. That's the worst. It's the absolute worst. And then they get a job like that, though, and they're in a a position of power, and they abuse it. Yeah. For no reason. That's fair. So it's got to be weeded out. So either, you know. Also, I will be a good boy. I like that. (laughs) I've seen you as a lead. You were good. Yeah, Yeah. that's fine. That's why I was like, I don't see you exactly having that issue. Uh, Our issues would be frustration, which is why we're both not in that kind of line of work. 100%. Yeah. Because we do stupid shit under frustration. A hundred percent. Really stupid shit sometimes. Yeah. In that scenario, it would just be probably saying stupid shit. Oh, yeah. That would get still get us in trouble. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. I was like, you know how fast you were going, meow? <laughs> <laughs> I just don't see where Schubert grows up. The snowsberries taste like snowsberries. <laughs> it's dude, that shit like that. Dude, out of- dude I've seen... <laughs> That movie one time, and I barely remember that night. I don't remember most of that night. <laughs> I was drinking rather heavily that evening. Ah, okay, I got you. And decided to try to watch Super Troopers. <laughs> so you were like, remember a few lines, and that's it? That's it. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. No, this guy goes hard, dude. Yeah, he does. Where are you rating this one? 8.8 playlist. 8.6 playlist. <laughs> we were getting close. We we're getting close. That's a scary thought. It's getting <laughs> close. Yeah, I'm over. I'm thoroughly I'm impressed. Anytime I was like, oh, yeah, I need to remember this line because this line's dope. And then you just kept piling on lines. <laughs> and I'm like, stop. It's too. It's so fucking good. <laughs> Dopeness overload. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. Hey, I'm gonna need you to slow down, Sage. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Steven, our patron, for that pick. Thank you. That's a banger, dude. Yeah, it is. banger and a half. And that is how hip hop's done. Mm-hmm. Are you gonna do your thing? The f bombs. Mm-hmm. The five f bombs. Mm-hmm. That are they, still gonna get fact, a solid rating because the fact they that you counted out. them just blows my mind. The fact that I can remember something short term, you couldn't remember like that. You couldn't remember Landon's name in the last one, but you couldn't. Yeah, but I can remember five F bombs. <laughs> I have problems, y'all. You do. Um, so five F bombs, very well spaced out. Very well spaced out, and they all had a meaning, and they all 
you could feel them all. Wow, right in the chest. I, I think I'm, I think I gotta go flat nine on these ones. I think that's fair. Yeah, just because they they all had a nice pop, they all had a meaning. There's five of them, but they're spaced out well enough. You're not just using it to use it. it. I agree, man. I agree. Yeah, that's where I'm at. Hell yeah, guys. We're two boys, and we've got one brain cell. Shout out to Steven for the pick. Shout out to Sage Francis for the badass music. Guys, if you Hell enjoyed yeah. this, make sure you go check out some more shit from him. Because, I mean, two songs in. It's looking pretty damn good. Yeah, yeah, it is. Hit that subscribe if you want to join the community. Until next time, y'all, peace.